All right, it's Friday night. What are you guys doing? Um, I just finished doing a little bit of work. I'll be honest, it's been hard to go between feeling in the flow with tarot and like working, like being in the 3D versus the 5D, I guess. Uh, difficult to go back and forth. I don't, I don't really like it, but um, I'm gonna try to do the thing I tell all my video clients to do, which is just to stay consistent. So we will do the daily tarot practice. And if there's a message for you that shows up, that's awesome. You don't, not the whole, not the whole thing has to resonate. The whole thing doesn't have to resonate, but just little bits and pieces. So just showing up to a reading means you're out here willing to listen to any messages that want to come through and something might come for you as well. So interact with this video, do a little bit of energy exchange, show me that you are um, listening, you're, you're, that you're open to receiving messages and maybe something will come up for you. Okay, give me a like, share, subscribe, or comment on the video. The first deck I pulled out is the Moonology deck. Because I love the moon. We all love ourselves some of the moon. And I love how it matches the uh, the aesthetic of this this cloth that I got in Chiso's Basin in Big Bend on New Year's Day. Incredible. New Year's Eve, rather. Any messages for today, please? Yeah, let's just say for the weekend. Let's do a weekend spread. Show us any messages uh, relevant to the span of this weekend, please. Here we go. Confidence is your key to success. Okay, heard. That's the new moon Leo. Now we have new moon Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. I believe that's the new next new moon that's coming up is the new moon Aquarius. If I'm not mistaken, I could look it up. New moon Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. That's the new moon that occurred uh, January 2nd. So there we got January 2nd sort of on the map of this year, February 3rd, or is it February 2nd? It doesn't matter all that much, but I, I love and I'm very curious always about the moon phases and mapping things out in, in order. There was one time I was using the uh, Northern Animal Tarot, which is another amazing deck, but it's a, uh, it's a um, Rider Waite inspired deck with all animals, and then it has all the phases of the moon. And one time, I did a reading and pulled out at the very end uh, five cards, the five cards ease and transition spread. And based on the artwork of some of the cards and all of the moon phase cards that existed in that deck, we had in chronological order, or at least in the moon phase order, six weeks, or the next six moons. So yeah, six weeks. Um, and ever since then, I've just sort of been like, I took a photo of it and I would show people and some people were either on my level, they're like, that is insane, and how cool is that? And then other people were just like, what? What are you talking about? Huh. Oh, that is February. Yeah, February. Oh, the new moon is actually the 31st. It's on Monday. Not this coming Monday, but you know. The Monday before February. New moon Aquarius, probably. Confidence is your key to success. Bring love into the situation. Your hard work is paying off. So this is a message this weekend for 
somebody needing to sort of step into their joy a little bit. Uh, someone has done the work and is able to see um, how creating some distance for themselves um, in a situation has, has brought out um, the qualities that in themselves that have um, truly helped uh, push them forward that makes sense you know like um, something has developed or ascended now you get to sit in that now you get to enjoy the fruit of that labor confidence is your key to success so you know it's sort of like a rejoice or like a hmm. I wonder when is the new moon Leo because if it's going backwards could look it up. I don't know how much time you guys have. Let's see here. New Moon. Leo 2022. July 1st. Well, the full moon is in Leo in February as well. So there might be something to that February 16th. Now that, see, that's again following in sequential order. I mean, it's not, it's, it's a, what's here is new moon. This is all new moon. So this is all about setting brand new intentions. Uh, but the energy of Leo is still sort of embedded in Aquarius here. Or embedded in, in the month of February, which is Aquarius season. Also, uh, Capricorn, what is it? Uh, Mercury goes is it is goes retrograde in Aquarius or has now is now um, in in retrograde in Aquarius. So when a planet's in retrograde, it sort of it appears to move backwards, and so it can it goes it actually crosses back into Capricorn for some time, and then stations direct and it comes back into Aquarius um, after February third or something. You know, like that first week of February. There might be something to that um, here in that energy, but we could see what the tarot wants to say today. About this, um, this distance. And by distance, I'm imagining like an aerial view um, as in not necessarily aloofness but just like seeing the greater scope um, so if you've done the work recently to connect some dots in your life and seeing how everything um, touches each other or is interconnected and you can sort of see how things are laying out for you um, that that could inspire confidence seeing the path ahead hmm. it's sort of like this expansive energy that is allowing for more joy more more excitement or positivity One more shuffle and then we'll we'll pull some cards. <laughs> oh, I love this. Underneath. Chariot energy underneath. I like tarot at night. You see how nicely the cards are lit up? Oh yeah. Chariot sheer will sheer force of will strength determination you know um, persevering at all despite the odds persevering despite the odds is sort of what I'm feeling and then new another new moon see this is a phase card of this deck this is the deck I was using when I told you about the um, 
change spread. Come on now. Not my face. Whatever. Then we have the Queen of Swords. Death. The tree. Wise old tree. I love this dude. Not awesome. <laughs> Three of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Ooh. Hold on. The Moon, the Seed, Fall. My goodness gracious. So this sheer will of force. What have you been determined to? find or seek because it seems like you've gotten it or I don't know where where you are in the process but the fact that the the queen of pentacles is here in the middle that tells me that just like what this uh, new moon in Leo is saying you've at least been able to put things together for yourself in such a way where you can now see how things are connected and the Queen of Pentacles is like this um, creature comfort and very nurturing energy. She lives the manifestation. You, um, if, if not physically, then in your mind or your body at least, are beginning. You're beginning to embody uh, the positive qualities of the work you've been doing. Okay, I don't know yet if there are real tangible results i feel like there there might be here with the queen and king of pentacles but you might be so there might be some feedback here um the issue of feedback is is unclear to me yet still whether or not you could see this manifesting in the real but i i will say that the queen of queen and king of pentacles here so it's like someone is here matching your energy um partnership of, of some kind your business partner someone matching your energy here before that we have the three of swords this could be and did you notice how they're facing away from each other so that's interesting hmm Some almost makes that makes me think like they're disinterested or something. But they're partners, but they're disinterested. I don't know. Uh, this might be having to do with the um, needing to overcome a painful situation. Um, but know that there is some sort of meaningful partnership here that is still causing a lot, is the cause of some uncertainty. Let's see, you, you see even the two wolves are here. There's like a lot of dualities um, on the cards. What I, s what I see in the recent past is this need to either put up a boundary and or, and or make some sort of smart decision regarding a, a past hurt or something that has been confusing or the cause of fear so that's all that's maybe the cause of this distance in the present we have this um, death the Queen of Pentacles and the seed um, somebody here is really again doing a lot of self nurturing through a time of immense transformation and that's leading to this new opportunity sort of so this this feels like shadow work even if you look at the art of the cards the way that they're arranged oop, it's like we we're here we're on the ground level we go underneath <laughs> hold on actually i'll do the seed the seed is down here transformation is deep within And don't focus and then the queen of pentacles sort of just like nestled right in between them the 
which is that energy uh, of self-care of like cooking for yourself and taking baths and really cozying up in the middle of this transformation um, likely caused by some painful situation you know that you need to get past this so you're challenging what you know um, about your own stability about where you draw your strength from where you draw your power from and so that is a bit of a self-assessment the autumn card i always take that as sort of like a harvest season you're looking at what you have the leaves are falling and things are, sh are shedding away but you're all this is a time to look at what you have and what's sticking around what are the things worth keeping and tending to that's what I see as for happening happening in the future. This question of what is what are the things that I want to continue relying on that have that have proven meaningful or powerful in my life that you know my life is uh, structured on. I get the sense that um, this might be something along the lines of um, a truth that you once considered as a as a part of you, but is being transformed into something else. Because a wise old tree is about, you know, when, yes, knowledge is good, but when does knowledge become? When does knowledge make you stiff? As in, sort of like. Um, prejudgments. So, when when do we allow ourselves to transform our thoughts? I see that as sort of at the surface of challenging what we know, challenging um, that which has come before, um, as a means to break. Free of it, uh, to break through it, because again, the energy is the chariot. I love the look of these cards. Chariot. And so, on the subconscious level, there is. Um, The moon, the seed, and fall again. So, <laughs> the the idea I get is like this: the metaphor of when it's harvest season, you're pulling all the seeds, and you're collecting seeds for the next season. Um, but there's still a lot of uncertainty around. I fucking love metaphors and my brain always works in metaphors and I try to resist it and I should just stop the metaphor is it's harvest time we're collecting seeds for the next season of planting the fear then with that which the moon represents is well we've done all that we can to prepare for winter but do we really know what winter will bring or how long it will last and how difficult it might be And what about the seeds? Will they, you know, bring the new life that we are hoping that it will? Will it, will it lead to the things that we hope for, that we desire? The energy that's tackling all of these questions on the table is the chariot. The, the energy that is available is the, is the chariot, the sheer force of will. I think that's just trying to say that your will is strong that innately as humans we have a lot more strength than um, we even realize or can recognize and so maybe that's why there's this partnership here 
queen and king of pentacles showed up how about that there was another reading i don't know, remember when but if you go to the playlist the um the photo is the king and queen of pentacles and i think the king and queen of of swords or somebody you know it's like two partners two 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 sets of partners and so give me some more information about this king and queen of pentacles because i can't tell if this is a situation that has caused some pain or is the cause of some um some something or someone is causing you to to need to react in a brave way something is causing you to this is it's showing up as adversity but at the same time as as potentially like this power couple literally so that's an interesting energy show me the queen of pentacles Me the king of pentacles oh yeah interesting can you hear the music by the way okay i hope youtube doesn't knock me for that i just when it's too quiet uh, Seven of Swords, the Crescent Moon, and Spring, the Season card, clarified the Queen of Pentacles, and then for the King of Pentacles, we have the Magician, Half Moon, and the King of Wands. I feel like this is not a partnership, but this is like the, like, the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine sort of coming both having sort of like um, presence in your life or in how you're handling this painful situation or a past thing, how you're how you're moving your helping how you're helping yourself move through some sort of transformation is in a very balanced state. However, I do also see you s here with this with this newfound confidence, this force of will. You're sort of maybe thinking about in the future. Um, how do I manifest a love partner like the ideal love partner because that showed up that's why I think that this this king and queen is actually you working in the real world in a 3d sense um, taking care of your body your finances getting yourself in alignment Sort of re-emerging anew and then getting your shit together a bit because again springtime newness um crescent moon is is time for building yourself up and the seven of swords this is you know walking away with i feel like this is like walking away with all the things that are working and leaving the rest behind tending just to those things and plant again planting seeds with with whatever remains um, that is by definition, you know, sh shedding and sh shedding and spreading. <laughs> oh my God, shedding and spreading the the new seeds. And so yeah, so I do see magician, the half moon, or quarter moon, and the king of wands. Eventually, you will. Confidence is the key to success. You're realizing that confidence and the energy that you put into. Um, your projects, your relationships um, has considerable influence. Your will has considerable influence. And so you might, um, you know, while having a lot of uh, gratitude for this, also be in a place of 
you know, how do I use this power? Gratitude to me here, it's here to me means you're you're wanting to use this power very very specifically or very um, intentionally. And the King of Wands is sometimes considered the ideal partner um, embodied, the husband of the tarot, if you will, and. Um, I see what you got your eyes set on here um, in the near future. Interesting. I hope that resonated. So um, let me know if you like the video and thanks for watching.